Welcome to another episode. On this episode, we're going to be showing you guys how we put a custom bare sandblast stencil down from start to finish, from laying it out to sandblasting it to coloring it to sealing it. So this is a flat two stencil made by Tamron Doolin. Um, they make all kind of cool stencils, but this one in particular is uh, made for sandblasting. And I got to be honest with you, when we got this thing put down, it's it's like a thick paper. Um, and it was probably 70 degrees out, but you can tell we're kind of in the shade. Um, now this is a sand finish. So it didn't seem like it was going to stick good enough for us to sandblast and it actually to hold up. You can see how many little pieces that we had. Really time consuming to take all these little pieces out. Um, so my concern was as soon as the sandblaster hit it, it was going to blow it out, but it did stick. Now this is a heat gun, and we went through and we're trying to heat the adhesive up to where it would stick a little better uh, right before the sandblast guy came in and he started etching the color off. Now this was already acid stained and acetone dyed, and we put the stencil down. So what he's doing is he is etching the color off and then down into the cement paste a little bit more. So when we put our black pigment on, it's not just right on the surface. So here I am, we're spraying the acetone dye. This is exterior dye. Right away, huge mistake. Um, I thought that I would have a little bit more control over the overspray and didn't really seem like I was getting much, but as soon as I peeled the stencil up, I could tell and you can see it right there. And it was an oh my God moment. You know, this is black dye. How am I gonna get this off of here? So this being an acetone dye, I thought, well, the acetone is the solvent, it's the carrier. So we will get acetone and come over here and we will try and remove it. So that's what we did. We got rags, Sergio and I, you can tell that it's removing it, but it's also removing some of the brown dye, which is okay um, as long as the black came off. So just a little tip trick, you should think it would be obvious is to mask off plenty around your stencil we're going to be spraying so now i'm going back over it and that being i did probably three light coats of black over the bear so i wasn't really too concerned about the tan uh you know going over top of the black um and then in the morning we got back here and moved all the little bitty pieces and you can see i'm i'm going back around to trying to get more of the the black dye off i wasn't satisfied with that you can kind of see an outside uh, square ring around it. And Brittany, Josh, and Sergio are removing all those little pieces that we had to leave in there. Um, so once again, the acetone worked really good, which is a good tip to put in your toolbox. If you ever get acetone dye on anything, uh, just take acetone and it'll help lighten it up. I'm not going to say it's going to remove it completely. But then I'm going back over it with more of this exterior acetone dye to try to darken this particular square up. As mentioned, it was already acid stained. So are the borders around, you see. That was a seamless stamp on the borders and then we chiseled every 18 inches. And then we actually sand finished those too. So here I'm spraying our acrylic sealer over top of this. You cannot roll sealer an acrylic or solvent based sealer over top of an acetone dye it will smear it around so this was another two coats on top of this came out pretty good man i mean the customers were stoked we were stoked especially with uh, a few little mistakes that were made uh, but all in all it came out really cool Thanks for watching guys. Make sure and like, subscribe, comment, and even share. We have some super cool, unique videos about concrete in the works. So we'll see you guys on the next one.